Welcome. My name is Sam Ellsberg. I'm an attorney with Wolke Fleury in Sacramento, California. And this is our next video in this series of videos on labor and employment law news and updates. In this video, we're going to talk about the California Fair Pay Act, an act that many employers in the state should be familiar with because it went into effect last January 1st, 2016. And what that act does is it prohibits employers from paying members of one sex less than they pay to employees of the opposite sex for substantially similar work when viewed as a composite of skill, effort, and responsibility, and when performed under similar working conditions. Now, there are limited exceptions to the Act, and the legislature recently has tightened some of the exceptions and has made it clear that employers cannot rely on an employee's prior salary to justify a difference in pay of members of one sex versus another. Now, this amendment is going into effect on January 1, 2017 and it's meant to address the gender pay disparity between men and women in the workplace. And that disparity is at 16 cents on the dollar. So in other words, women are earning in California just 84 cents for every dollar that their male counterparts are earning in the workplace. And this problem is actually worse and more pronounced for women of color. And so again, to address that, the legislature has made it clear in the Fair Pay Act that employers cannot rely on prior salary as a sole basis to justify a difference between paying members of one sex one amount and members of the opposite sex another amount. Now the second amendment that is going into effect also on January 1st, 2017 is expanding the California Fair Pay Act beyond sex, expanding it to race and ethnicity. So now after the new amendments go into effect, employers will not be able to pay employees of one race or ethnicity less than they pay to employees of another race or ethnicity for substantially similar work. So employers should keep in mind these two amendments and make sure that they audit their own employment practices so that they can really start the new year on a good foot after these laws go into effect on January 1st, 2017. I thank you for joining us for this video. I hope that you found it informative, and we look forward to having you join us for other labor and employment law news and updates.